driving concerts it's obviously not a big thing in the uk we don't really have much of a driving culture um i would say maybe up north might be a thing london we don't really have much of it um the most i've seen is when they do these sort of like um outdoor cinema things <laughs> that they do have in you know bigger parks and or fields where some people might be able to drive their car up but they'll still have their you know their little blanket on the outs you know on the ground to watch the movie if it gets cold you jump in your car but the actual thing of going to like a gravel car park and having a massive screen and watching a show isn't really part of uk culture it's more of an american thing i'd say in that regard and mostly from what i've seen especially from the, my friends that have cars they usually spend a lot of time in their cars kind of like driving around or going to a place and hanging out with a friend or having a smoke or listen to some music it's not really a thing where you you don't really go in your car to hang out with people with cars it's not a thing unless you're like in you know unless you want to go race i don't know there's not really a thing that you do so this push there's been a bit of a push in the uk with trying to experiment with other ways to get entertainment back into people's lives right people are in lockdown they don't want to be at home all day they want to go see some live music see a comedy show and there's been some companies that they're trying to push this whole like driving thing right and i just think it's a complete waste of time it kind of is similar to like the lockdown raves where you have people like dancing in little circles on the ground and shit it's a bit like why would you do that right it just doesn't make any sense to me um and this video kind of explains a little bit of it and if any, if anything kind of confirmed my suspicions that going to a car park to go watch a movie is a madness an absolute madness but I'll let you guys be the, this, the judges here on this one. Hey, it's Tony with the latest rock news. The drive-in experience began in 1933, but a drive-in concert? That's the latest development in Denmark as the country aims to circumvent the concert cancellation issue driven by the coronavirus pandemic and social distancing measures. In the Danish city of Aarhus, singer-songwriter Mads Langer played to a sold-out crowd of cars who drove into a field where he was performing on a newly erected concert stage. Come on, man. The 500 ticket no, gig you. was Come announced on. just six days prior to the event, and similar events are in the works for the future. Not only has this occurred now in Denmark, but South Koreans have also started having drive-in shows as well. Much like drive-in movies, attendees were able to listen to the concert through their FM radio transmission. According to the local newspaper, police were satisfied how the event was handled, stating that people behaved the way they should and all cars were out of the place within half an hour. It's a creative... Boo might be creative but boo <laughs> part of going to a concert i'm sorry like and, and this made me kind of really made me kind of appreciate and also made me kind of question why some people run to the front of a concert you never seen those usually it's kind of girls and stuff but they love to like run to the front of the barricades and just stare at the person that's, that's playing you don't get a sense of who's even behind you the arena you're just staring at the person right um doughy eyed but i guess you're like you're probably you know one of their number one fans you send them mail and shit and see them touring around the country that's another thing but part of the beauty of going to a, a gig is like rocking up there just before you know just before the live act's about to go on stage if you're a bit of a you know if you're a bit of a lazy one or you go to see the walmart act play you get a couple of beers with your mates you sit you find a corner or wall somewhere you just watch and then sort of like spot you know spec out the room see where you want to go where you want to stand where you want to dance but it's the ambiance of people around you right everyone's sweating breathing on you you can feel people's skin as you're rubbing past as you're walking past them and if you've got to sleep the shirt on you ask her excuse me you stepped on someone's shoe on something that's part of the beauty of it but it's just sitting in your car that you probably travel to and from work right it's your commuter it's the car that you take your kids to school in it's the car that you and your fella argue in it's the car that you take your mum in to work and shit it's not the same vibe in it it's just a bit like ugh. You know, it's like it's like watching YouTube on your work computer. It's not the same, in it. You want to do it on yours, so it's like I don't know, man. As much as I understand the need to go out, I would really be against going to anything that had to do with this. Like I honestly would. It just it just seems like complete hell to me. I'd much rather stay indoors and watch a rerun of you know an old you know Iggy Pop concert or you know watch some fucking old top of the pops footage or watch an old 
bit of you know an old mobile upload that someone did from a festival i went to back in the day then go and sit in a car and watch a concert or listen to a concert through my radio speaker and then watch the person super far away what with binoculars looking through a window shield that is depressing i don't think i don't think there's anything worse i think in my life honestly and but i guess this is a certain crowd this is probably the same type of people that go to those sort of like silent discos if you go to a silent disco you're probably going to rock up and go and sit in your car and watch a movie it's the same kind of weapon isn't it it's not you know you're not all up there in the head in the, like you know person that kind of cuts out coupons in the metro and shit and puts them in their back pocket like <sighs> miss me with that man solution and with numerous public health experts predicting we may not see the traditional concert experience return until the fall of 2021 at the earliest or until there is a vaccine we may see more drive-in concert experiences for more on this story head over to loudwire that is a madness that is true though we are um that is something that we're hearing a lot of that's supposed to be there's not going to be any live shows until we have a vaccine and most probably club events will be you know few and far between but there's going to be ways around it people are going to find little you know not so legal you know ways to kind of get around the whole club arena thing and legitimately like i'd much rather see my live my favorite band in person you know even if it's like you know 50 cap arena and you have to all stand two meters apart then sit in a car so i wouldn't do it again that standing in the circle thing raving is fucking you know super stupid i will never do it but if I had to do it to see my favorite band, I'm doing that rather than sitting in my car. Yeah, count me out. 